Everyone pretty much agrees that sending, receiving, and managing email on the iPad is a really great experience. Email is something that Steve Jobs even intended for the iPad to do when it first came out, and the iPad is still really good at it. It's one task in productivity that you can actually do pretty darn well without a keyboard. All you need is that gorgeous display and you're good to go. And there are lots of modern features available in 2025 for managing your email, such as putting your emails into categories, or even customizing the toolbar in the mail app and lots of other things. Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and since I use my iPad Pro as my main computer, I send emails from my iPad all the time. I do this for my two jobs, my project management position, my teaching position, and I also send personal emails and stuff for YouTube as well. And I currently use Outlook to manage my email for my first position since we're mainly a Microsoft Office environment, and I use the Mail app for everything else. Both apps are great and they have their strengths and weaknesses. And so in today, I wanna give you the best tips and tricks for organizing and managing your email, both with the Mail app and with Microsoft Outlook. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with the Mail app. So with all Mail clients, you can set up multiple email addresses inside the Mail app. You do this by going to settings and actually finding the Mail app in the apps section, and you can give a good nickname for your mailboxes. Once you have all your accounts put into the Mail app, then you can edit the sidebar the way you like, and there are lots of options to make appear or disappear in that sidebar. You'll just have to look through there and see which ones you like. Now one thing about the mail app is you can create folders in your mailboxes. However, they're called mailboxes. So when you see the option to add a mailbox, that just means a folder within your email account. When you create this folder in the mail app, it will also show up on the web versions of your email and in other mail applications like Outlook. So you can create the folder and then you choose where this folder is going to live, which mailbox you want it to be associated with, give it a name and boom, it's done. And then you can start to select emails and drag and drop those into that folder. It's quick and easy and painless. Great way to keep your emails organized. Now something that's newer and involves a little bit of AI is categorizing your emails. And so you can use the three dots at the top of the mail app that's sort of in the center and you can select to organize your emails by categories. There are four main categories categories that are offered, including primary promotions and a couple of others. You can take a look at those. You can let the mail app sort those automatically, so it'll try to make a determination on which category those emails should fall in. Or if you select the dots on the far right, there is an option to manually put an email into a category. And this is great for cutting out the fluff or looking at a specific batch of emails that you want to see, such as all the promotions that are coming into your inbox. Now, let's talk about attachments for a minute, because one of the biggest things about email is sending a attachments. So the iPad is good for multitasking and all you have to do is pull up the files app besides your mail app. And then you can select some files that you want and simply just drag and drop them into the mail message. It's pretty darn painless these days. The only thing I don't like about attachments is you can't download multiple attachments at once like you can on a computer version. So you do have to download and save those attachments one at a time when you receive them. I'd like to see that as an upgrade in iPad OS 19, but we'll see. Okay, so you can also edit your toolbar and you can do do this by selecting the three dots at the top to customize it. And there are a few good button options there that you can pull and drag right onto the toolbar or take the ones off that you don't like. There are buttons to flag a message, set a reminder, or even mark a message as read or unread. It's really great, quick and convenient. So customize that toolbar. Okay, so let's talk about filtering and flagging emails. So it's great to filter your email so you can see what you wanna see. It's common to filter by them being unread or flagged. There is a button at the bottom of the mail app to do that. If you want to get into colorizing your flags, you can use the three dots when you swipe a message just a little bit to the left. There's a more option. You can select flag and then choose a different color. One thing that's weird though about the mail app is that I can't find a way to filter just by a certain color of flags. But I know you can do this in the Outlook app on the iPad and we'll talk about that in just a second. All right, the final cool thing I want to go over in the mail app is setting a reminder. So have you ever been doing work emails and you forget to go back to one that you need to do something? Well, in the mail app, you can set a reminder for yourself, you can select it from that more option, or you can select it from the toolbar if you've added it up there. And you can set it to remind you an hour later or at a specific time. That is so nice. It helps me to not forget about the important things that I need to do. All right, so those are some of the cool tips in the mail app, but let's talk about Outlook, which I think is a little bit more work focused, especially if you're in a Microsoft environment. Outlook is just nice to manage your work email. I also like that that app has the calendar built into it so you can schedule meetings and set up appointments right Right there in the same application. Apple has them split out, eh, it's fine. But for work, I prefer it all to be in one place. Now, one of the coolest tips that I can tell you about is the swipe option. So you can set up different
different options in Outlook so that when you swipe left or right, there are different functionalities at your fingertips. So you can go into settings and then select mail and then the swipe options. And there are all kinds of different things. My personal favorites are pinning a message and categorizing a message. So this I think is a big deal that Outlook has over the mail app from what I can tell. You can select a category, which is sort of like flagging a message as a certain color. And then you can use the filter button in the top right of the Outlook app to filter by a specific category. That's really awesome. So you can color code all your mail and filter it by that color. It's really cool. Another tip I'll mention is the notifications. So I don't know why Outlook is always set up to just bombard you with notifications. I like to shut those off. You'll also find that in settings and notifications and sounds. Just turn all that junk off. I never use it. Finally, something that's very important for work that you can do in the Outlook app is setting up automatic replies. So if you're going to be on vacation for like a week or you're taking a sick day or whatever, you need to set up automatic replies to let folks know you're out of the office. You can find that in settings and automatic replies and you can just set up a day or time or a window of time and you can custom write your message all right there in the Outlook app. I love that. That's great for work. It's a critical tip. All right, so those are some of my biggest tips on how to use the Mail and Outlook app. Email is really fun to do on the iPad and you want to be able to use all those newer controls and functionalities to organize and manage your email. Give them a shot. If there's something I missed here, please leave it in a comment below. I'll take a look at those comments and see what I missed. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.